Bhagavad Gita, text 4.11 In whatever way people take refuge in me, I reciprocate with them accordingly. Everyone in all circumstances, O son of Brita, follows my path. Krishna is speaking primarily about his devotees here, but at the same time he addresses others who directly or indirectly approach him for something other than entering his lila, such as those interested in self-realization, both karma and jnana yogis. He has also addressed those who unknowingly approach him as well by stating that all persons follow his path whether they realize it or not. Those who worship the gods for material gain also worship Krishna indirectly because the gods are partial manifestations of Krishna. Such worshippers are unaware that the gods are dependent on Krishna to fulfill anyone's desires. Although Krishna reciprocates with all who approach him, they do not all get the same result. Yet he is not partial. While the paths of Karma Yoga, Jnan Yoga and Bhakti Yoga all lead to him in varying degrees, those approaching through karma and jnana have desires. The karma yogi's desires are purified and he attains knowledge of the self. In self-knowledge such jnana yogis desire and attain liberation. This attainment is Krishna's reciprocation relative to their approach. Those on the path of bhakti attain love of Krishna Mad Bhavam Agataha, in accordance with their particular bhav. They do not desire anything material, nor do they aspire for liberation, which is a byproduct of entering Krishna's divine Leela. Among Krishna's devotees, the Raja Gopis approach to him is most notable. Although Krishna promises in this verse to reciprocate the measure of his devotee's love, he found it difficult to fulfill this promise after experiencing the gopis' love. Therefore, he told them that they must be satisfied with their love itself, for he himself surrenders to this love. Na paraye ham niravadya sam yu jam Srimad Bhagavatam 10.32.22 Because their love is more powerful than his, in accordance with his statement in this verse, he worships them. He is purchased by their love. Krishna, surrendering to the mystery of the gopis' love, is the deepest significance of the appearance and percepts of Sri Chaitanya who taught that there is no superior means of approaching Krishna than that which was conceived by the Raja Gopis. The Raja Gopis' love is thus the deepest import of this verse. The object of love that corresponds with the Gopis' standard of love is Svayam Bhagavan Krishna. Overall, Krishna is the architect of the cosmic order, but not its author. Desire writes the story. The desire or ideal of people determines their conception of God.